Let's see what kind of goodies we got in here. What are we gonna put on there? Oh, wouldn't you know it's in another box? Hang on. All right, that's better. What do we got? Foam. We got. There we go. Got us a nice monitor. And we got a couple cameras. The hell in the heck? Okay, that's better. Let's see now. Alright. Just a camera here. Come out to the baler. We're going to put it right there. Because I can't see a damn thing behind me when I'm driving this thing. Alright, for the next step. I'm going to come out here. I got this camera mounted. And... I'm going to take this video wire and I'm going to follow that harness all the way to the tractor and go up inside the cab. The only bad thing about this is the baler plug is on the outside of the cab, but if I want to unhook the baler, I'm going to have to unhook this from the monitor. But there's cons with every pro and this one dead. This pro definitely ought to outweigh the con. All right, so I got some more zip ties. What I've decided to do I'm gonna I'm gonna route it through here and I'm gonna actually put the excess inside here because I don't want it in the tractor with me so I'm just gonna loop the excess up all nice zip tie it stick it in here I don't plan on using twine anyways so it ain't gonna it's not gonna hurt all right so we got the camera wire I stopped at the plug because that way when I unhook the baler I don't have to cut all the ties off of this I can just undo it from the, the camera from the monitor and send it with the rest of the harness I don't have to worry about the cutting all the ties off the baler monitor harness but I got it done all the way here I got my excess stored in a twine spot right there is it tied up real nice and then tie it off to something so it doesn't fall I just got to figure out where I want to put this other camera. I want to be able to see the pickup on the baler. But I don't know if I'm going to have anywhere I can I can mount it to you that sees that. We'll figure something out. Alright, I ended up putting it on the fender. These cameras have 180 degree view. So I ought to be able to see everything. So uh, now I just got to run this wire hook this up running into the cab I'm gonna put this excess behind the seat because it doesn't it's not on the baler I don't have the option to hide that on the baler so let me go get the other harness and we will put it on and I'll turn the monitor on and we'll see see how it, see how it helps well this camera working good but something seems a little off there I guess I put that camera on upside down. Well, the uh, ooh, my camera's a little dirty. That's better. The cameras work great. Today I was bailing. Cameras were the least of my problem. This camera right here, it uh, I oh man, I don't miss the angle up. Um, it would be great if it was a little lower. I wish I had a place kind of dead center to put it, but that's the fuel tank. I can't really mount it there. The one on the back, man, that, that's the best, best thing I've ever done was put that camera back here. I got kind of lucky bailing today. Look at how much net wrap is left. <laughs> Maybe that's enough for one bail. But yeah, cameras work great. Like I said, this is the least of my problems. We uh, I plugged the baler twice. And then sucked up a piece of mud in a soft spot. And this first belt here got moved over. And it was riding on that belt next to it and jammed on the starter roller. So that was a fun little project in the middle of a hay field to have to take care of. 
so but oh well we got it done about four and a half acres you got 32 bales so nice thing is i don't have to touch them so guys gonna i just did it it was custom bailing for somebody man this video quality is piss poor but yeah cameras were cameras are great i would i would recommend it to anybody so, 